What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles, the YouTube channel. Today, we're playing Ginga. The only, I think the only dark type that has an EX in this set, which makes me, which just makes me sad. Ging, dark, dark Pokemon are dark. So my favorite Pokemon, Dark and Grass, my two favorite types, uh, for those who don't know. But, um, yeah, but I got, got a bunch of Grass Pokemon. We got one Grass Pokemon, I guess that was good, and then a Dark Pokemon. So, we did get two Pokemon that are okay. Uh, but anyways, off topic, whatever. Uh, today we cover Gengar EX. It has 310 HP, has the ability Gnawing Curse. Also has 310 HP. That's a good amount. Uh, Gnawing Curse, whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So you can do damage to your opponent for, you know, essentially just trying to power up the Pokemon. And Tricky Steps is 160. You may, you may move an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their bench Pokemon. Now this is great. You can put the energy on a Pokemon that doesn't matter or stuff like that. And you kind of disrupt your opponent. And to kind of combine this, we have Crush Hammer, flip a coin of heads, discard a GF on your opponent's Pokemon, and we have the Giovanni's Charisma, put an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon into their hand. If you do attach energy from your hand to your active Pokemon. So you have energy acceleration as well as energy disruption. Uh, so with Giovanni, Crushing Hammer, and Gengar, hopefully we make our opponent can never attack. Uh, Tutu B Barrel to draw cards, Squovich for that Nestash, and an Alakazam for that painful spoons move around damage counters, which is great. Uh, that's all the Pokemon in here. Uh, four Buddy Buddy Poppin, five two Pokemon, seven HP or less, which is like pretty much everybody except the Ready Alakazam. Uh, we got Countercatcher because we probably will go down on price cards. We are Siege 2, and you can disrupt and blah, blah, blah. You can essentially like try to mill out your opponent too, late game as well, if they don't have like switches and stuff like that, and you can try to dis disrupt their energies, uh, which is nice. Crush Hammer, we have one Earth and Vessel Final Dark Energies, we have one Pal Pal to get back our support cards, we have one Prime Catcher to switch both, pl both players active with one of their bench. Three Rare Cannon, we do play two Hauntor, so that's a big thing here. Uh, we can just slowly kind of evolve there. Does Haunter do anything cool? No. What about Gingo, uh, Gasly? Mm, you get discarded energy with that one. Cool. Um, there's actually a character art, Gasly, too, that looks pretty sick. I don't have one, so I can't show you. Um, we got Super Rod, Ultra Ball. Three Pokemon League Headquarters. Makes your base Pokemon to play both the years. Any opponents need one more energy to attack, uh, which is pretty good. Kind of combines with our thing, right? Arvin for, you know, for consistency. Boss Order, Break Pokemon Bench Active. Uh, code breaking, uh, you can manipulate top two cards of your deck to find the rare candy Gengar or stuff like that. Arvin, or not Arvin, Eerie, uh, to disrupt your opponent's hand. I uh, discard two item cards you find there, could be early game and discard like rare candies and stuff. Giovanni, of course, we talked about that one. Iono, because we are going to be down on price cards and could disrupt our opponent's hand. One Devolution and one Evolution Techno Machines and eight Dark Energy. So, um, like I said, that kind of revolves around just like energy disruption and kind of do that kind of thing and then like trying to set up quickly with the evolution and devolve your opponent's pokemon which is great against these rare candy decks because if you can like you know eerie discard a rare candy and the devolution discard their or disrupt their evolutions they could be in trouble alakazam is in here too because uh when they do damage you could move move the damage off the active to a bench stuff like that and it kind of sets those knockouts and that's why it's in there um but yeah let's go play this deck let's see what it's like have some fun make sure i select the raw great deck uh, not Iron Boulder, we're playing Gengar right now. Here we go. All right, let's play some Gengar. Gengar. I think we, we haven't had a good Gengar in a... Uh, I guess we had Gengar Mimikyu, which is tag team. So I guess that's fair. We That's kind of recent, right? But it was a dark type of Psychic. So Gengar was the uh, one of my first super competitive decks, like way back in like 2008, 2009, whatever year it was. So... Just uh, just some facts there. That's that's a little fact there. For my first super standard X was Gengar. So now here we are. Like I don't know. Sixteen years later, fourteen years later. Whoa! What happened to my opponent? <laughs> They're missing their body. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, heads. I think we're gonna go first. So we can try to get set up. So tails. Okay. They're arguably going second, so you can use, you know, Arvid for Buddy Buddy Poffin and stuff like that turn one. That is a thing we could do. Uh, I thought it will go first, so there are options to go first. Okay. So, let's see what we get here. So, we mulligan. They're going to notice they're playing against a Gengar deck. All right, round number two. Oh, he did mulligan twice. Oh, no, this hand is not very good. Um... I think we're kind of cooking. I think we're kind of cooking. Arceus. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh-huh. 
Because it, it, it get energy accelerated with RCSV. That's why it's not good. Now, they whiffed the energy here. We're cooking. Head so they can find an evolution, which I don't think that's what they want. I think they want to find a basic. So, Luxray. There you go. Please, no energy. No energy. Dang it. Okay. Gutsy pickaxe. What kind of RC is that we playing? Does it put down the B-Doof? Interesting. Okay, so we will Arvin for Buddy Buddy Poffin and Evolution. Well, Buddy Buddy Poffin, I want, this is where I'm going to grab like a B-Doof and a Ghastly, but like they can take a knock on next turn, so I need to do that. Earth Investable, the Boss Order. You get two darks. We'll go dark. Tetto Machine Evolution. And yeah, we'll just Evolution. Both are Gaslies. I think they're both in there. I didn't even check. Oh, look at there. Oh, we're going to do one at a time. Sorry. Sorry, Pokemon. There we go. All right. And we have 300 HP, which is a lot. That's a lot for them to deal with. So. All right. So there's Arceus V Star. There's a Nest Ball. Yeah, it would have been cool to, like, you know, get a beam and beam to beam to bee barrel and stuff like that, but here we are. Aerodactyl, okay. Starbirth for double turbo for sure. Could go for Ball Sword and just knock out one of the Haunters while they're here. It's not a bad play. There's piece number one. And, ooh, an RC is actually go for an RC's V Star. Beauty comes down, which, which we know they have that. And, yeah, just trying to know. Okay, I'm actually okay with this. Uh, this list does not play super odd, I just realized. Okay. So set up Haunter. Um. Okay. So do that. Yeah, so we don't have another dark energy, or we'll be really good. Can you imagine if we had that and then we move this to a B doof? That'd be pretty good. Uh, I wish had to pass. That's where the combo is kind of like really good, but we didn't have it, unfortunately. Hmm. So there's a B barrel. Okay. They rotate to back to the active, which is now they take damage. This is where they maybe should accelerate energies to the active. Still goes all through an air dactyl V. Interesting. Okay. Oh, man. All right, so do Squovit. We'll do Pokemon Lead Headquarters. And yeah, we're just going to Nest Dash. Oh, no. We're going to lose because we can't find anything. Okay. Well, this isn't good. This is not going well. Yep. For nothing, okay. And this should be like one of our good matchups, I feel like. Okay. Sin of Gengar, okay.
Ayo, we found an Iono. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Squobit. All right, now we're going to place this. Okay. Okay. So don't have a dark energy right now, which is unfortunate. Okay. I tend to dark, then we're cooking. Because I got Giovanni plus Tricky Steps. Limit? The heck does that do? I have to find out here. Uh, Ultra Ball Tub could be good. Um, to get, like, you know, Bieber out. That would be pretty nice. Yep. Okay. All right. So on our turn, what are we cooking here? Come on, give me something good. Ooh. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. Put a fighting energy back in their hand. I know, thank you for reminding me. Uh, we'll nest dash. We got counter catcher, ooh. We'll B barrel. Okay, we'll crushing hammer. Okay, tails, okay, okay, okay. Hello, Zora. What you been doing? All right, so we'll do this. I'm gonna move the double turbo off the active to their bench B barrel. So maybe we'll go for the nap. Jump up here. There you go. All right. Okay. So discard those two. There's a Glamour EX. What does that do? I need to read that card. Yo, what's it say? Oh, we only have four bench. All right, fighting there. Okay. Dust your size. We're looking for a switch here. Gutsy pickaxe. Friend of the Glamour. The Prime Catcher, no! My B-Barrel. Okay. Sure. This goes out of two. Sin of Gengar on our turn. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Get a Prime Catcher on our own. I think I'm going to go... Ear to see their hand. Counter catcher, bring up Arceus. Pokemon League headquarters. And then Nestash for one. All right, well, we'll buddy buddy Poffin. Oh, there's B Dubs. Is not here. He's sleeping in the prize cards. I think I'm just gonna pass. Let's see what they could do here. Okay. All right, so they can find an evolution, which Aerodactyl V Star. <laughs> okay. There's Iono. Can they find a double turbo to retreat and attack with the with the Aerodactyl? They don't. Okay. So 
Let's go Christian Hammer. Tails. Hmm. Energy here. Arvin. Oh, we do play Rod. What am I talking about? Why do I think we don't play Rod? Okay, we'll do that. And I think the Devolution. I'm going to Ultra Ball. Rare Canyon Devolution. To find a Gengar EX. Rare Candy Gengar. Uh, how many darks are in here? Two. So we go ahead and Super Rod back in one, two, three. Yeah, that seems fine. <clears throat> well, Nest Ash for one. Ooh, an Iono for next turn. We'll retreat into a fresh Gengar. What? What? What's wrong? Yeah, you want a snack? Zara says she wants a snack. She's hungry. She's always snacking. Okay, capture Aroma. Tails. Okay, so they find a basic here. Doesn't want they doesn't look like they want a basic. Fighter G to Glamour EX. Okay. Take away some damage. Nine curse. Oh, it stacks. Oh, busted. Okay, today we learned that it stacks. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it stack, Josh? Come on now. All right, pass into our turn. Okay, okay, okay. So there's our Bidoof. Get an Iono here. Okay. Ultra Ball, Arvin, and Dark Energy. To find Radiant Alakazam. We can start using painful spoons to put two onto this and like maybe because now we would do 160 so we still take a knockout so a we'll nest dash there's an R for next turn we'll just end our turn yeah that's fine okay Okay. Do they have a boss order? No! <laughs> oh, by the time we were set up, we were too late. Oh, wait. We're still alive. Oh, he does take a knockout this turn. That's why. And there's a Prime Catcher. Oh, the Pokemon League headquarters saved us. Oh, baby, let's go. I'm going to Arvin here for a Crushing Hammer, and that's it. We'll use Crushing Hammer. No, I think we're 0 for 3 on those or something like that. All right, we'll just end our turn. It's fine. Now they need their fourth double turbo and another boss order. 
There's another Bidoof. How many boss orders have they played? Just one. Uh oh. Do they have another boss order? Uh huh. Okay, that's not good. Because then this does 280 next turn. Hmm. That will knock us out. What's wrong, Zora? It's rough either way. Cause I need I need to find another boss sword here. Is what I need to find. And there's their bar sword. Man, we are so late to the game. Unfortunately. That's the only unfortunate part. Hmm. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, okay. We'll try again. That setup was pretty bad for us, unfortunately. Man, I definitely feel like a match we should win. Hmm. All right, we'll try again. My opponent looks like a ghost or something. That looks really creepy to me. Anyways, let's try again. I mean, that's... Uh, it definitely should be a match we should win, I feel like. Anyways, let's go back. Let's try again. Do we misplay some? Maybe. Maybe. But we also hit a lot of tails, too. I feel like. Okay. So, tails? Yes. Do you want to go first? No basics. Okay. Like if this was a ghastly, well, I mean, it might depends. I could just watch on my ghastly. We have buddy buddy poffin, so yeah, we would have been fine if that was just a ghastly there. So just one mulligan this time. I think we gave two last time. So just ghastly. The only thing we're missing right now is a dark energy. Charizard. Okie dokie. So, Buddy Buddy Poffin for Ghastly and Bidoof. And the good thing about this matchup, it will take him a second to set up. So, we should be able to cook for a second. Okay. And if they put down a Pokemon they don't want energies to, that'd be great. Uh, Pidgeot could be okay to put energy zone. It doesn't do too much damage. And we also can, like, like force them to play, like, not do so much damage to my Gengar, too. By not taking price cards and make them, like, two-shot my Gengar, stuff like that. Uh, okay, so there goes Rare Candy and four Seal Stone. Okay, Fire Energy Deactive. See a heat tackle here. Maybe we should have done the Pokemon League headquarters. All right, on our turn. Let's see, let's get a prime catcher. Definitely want to hold him to that. So let's go Ultra Ball. Now, I know they have four Silver Stone and Rare Candy in hand, so I'm tempted to go Boss Arvin, but then like. Hmm. Because we get Iono for Disruption. Arva does guarantee me the rare candy. So maybe I do this instead. Find the B barrel. Go B barrel. 
Pokemon League headquarters, and Dusty Exercisers for two. Ooh, perfect. So we can go Arvin for Rare Candy and Evolution. We can go Rare Candy Gengar. Put a Dark Energy, Evolution. And we could just go for the Evolution to find a Haunter. Yeah, that seems okay. <clears throat> Let's see, what do they have here? There's a Rick Andy Pidgeot, okay. The only unfortunate thing about this deck is they don't put energy cards from their hand usually, they put it from their deck. So. But if we can get both of both of both, rid of both energies, then that'd be really nice because then it forces a Charizard every turn. So that's what we're gonna try to do here. So there's a Luminion, and Luminion here could be really nice for us because that's where we could put the energies at, but they could collapse energies off. So there's an Arvin. Arvin could find Rick. I don't know, it's four seal stone, okay. Arvin, let's see what they do here. They could go for maybe like a Prime Catcher maybe play on the B barrel, that'd be pretty nice. But they're playing bad Maximum Belt. Interesting, okay, so we don't, we don't, okay, good, no Prime Catcher. So they're going to force Seal Stone here to find their other missing piece, get the Charizard out, and then we can start moving the energies around. Hmm. Now, do we put on the Pidgey or the Luminion? That is the question. I think Luminion? Oh, it's hard to say. I think Pidgey is the best play because they can collapse the Pidgey but not collapse the Luminion. Or, like, if we they force to play Collapse... They most likely want to collapse the Luminion, not the Pidgey. So I think that's what I'm going to go after. Because then there's a two prize on the board with that Luminion. Okay, we split the energies. Very nice. Burning Darkness. Okay. So on our turn. Okay, so we got the Dark Energy. Put that there. Go Dust your Sizers. Attach for turn here. Come on now. Attach for turn. Tricky steps. Let's move that to the Pidgey. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So that's what we want to see. So we know they have an energy hand, but they need two energies to go to charge RDX. There's three in the field, one in the hand. So that's four. They probably play like six or seven. So let's see what they do here. And either way, if we take a knockout next turn, they don't immediately take a knockout back on my, on my Gengar. Which is a big thing to know. So there's Ultra Ball. This could find the Rare Candy Gengar. Or not Rare Candy Gengar. Gengar or Charizard. There we go. Dear Lord. Getting my Pokemon mixed up. 
So Buddy Buddy Pop and Defiance Band. Okay. There's another Charizard. Do they have three energies in the deck or just one? Or two, whatever. I don't know. We'll find out. Infernal Rain. Okay. <coughs> okay. So take a knockout here. We go down to four. We're in a Haunter. This is a Dark Energy Attachment. I think I'm just going to Iono here and just wait before I play the Pal Pad. So I can go... Because this is a rare candy, right? So we can go Ultra Ball. Discard this. This and this. To find the Gengar. We'll go Gengar. Devolution. And Dust Incisors. Put down Squovit. And we will devolution de evolving three of their people. Uh, let's go ahead and use Squovit. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Next Dash. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go devolution, de evolve these three. One, whoa, why does it make the picture so big? Two, whoa, dude, three. Okay. Knocks out the Charmander. Since two there, take one prize card. There's an Eerie. Okay. I don't know if Eerie's going to be that useful. They're down three or candies. But now what does my opponent do here? There's a Pidgey. Okay. Now this is where things get interesting. Yeah, that devolution. Whoo, bro, that was sick. So vacuum to get rid of Pokemon League headquarters. So they could potentially call for family this turn. That's what I would think, but we'll see. We'll see. Lost on a Charizard. Interesting. The other the hand must be busted. Okay, yeah, get rid of the leak headquarters. Like it. Charmeleon has come to play. Okay. Radiant Zard has made an appearance. So I can knock out that Charmander or Charmeleon. We'll be cooking. There's an Arvin. Okay. Now, Arvid could grab the rare candy if I'm Pidgeot. Or, okay, can I catch her? Max Belt. Dude, do they counter catch her here? Oh, wait, they can't. They can only Max Belt here. So we know three out of their five cards. We know it's Pidgeot, Max Belt, and counter catcher. And just call for family. Okay, let's see what they call for. Who are you ringing up here, buddy? A Rotom V. Interesting. All right, so on our turn. Giovanni's. Okay. I think I am going to Arvin. For just a Prime Catcher, we have more outs to hit a Dark Energy. Not many. We have more outs to hit that. So I think I'm going to go for Prime Catcher here. Bring up the Charmeleon. Sit at my Squovit. 
we'll scroll it nestash. We'll try to crush a hammer. Okay. And then we'll B barrel for five. Oh no, we whiff. Man, that is unfortunate. Unfortunate. If we would have hit a dark energy, we could have traded, took a knockout, and like really swung this price chart. It really swung this game. So there's a Charizard. Okay. We know Pidgeot's in hand. We know Pidgeot, Max Belt, Counter Catcher. We know three. There's two to Radiant Zard. They play eight energies. That is un 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 unheard of. But if I can get two off the active this turn, then we're in really good shape. That's fine. Sorry, Squobit. So they go down to three. So they still have to knock out two EXs. Okay. So we'll go Ultra Ball, discard one and two. Find a Gengar. We'll Rare Candy into Gengar. Attach a Dark Energy. Go for Bieber. Look for a Giovanni's. Oh, and a Crushing Hammer. So let's go Crushing Hammer first. Oh my goodness, what is up with these? Well, Giovanni's energy in their hand. Will Super Rod back the Squovent and two Darks? Will Buddy Buddy Poffin for the Squovent? Do we go for Ghastly? Uh, no, nah, we don't go for Ghastly. We just go for the, the Squovit. Just Squovit, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We've already done this. We've already done this. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to Nestash. We gotta find Palpad now. There's a Dark Energy for next turn, so we could treat if need be. Well, Tricky Steps. To move an Energy... Trotum, uh, spread the energy sound. Okay. So they have one in hand, we know that for sure. So I'll take 40 damage here. Eight energies, that's so many. All right, anyways. All right, so there's that on our turn. We go for dark energy here. We'll squove it. Hmm. Let's go B barrel first. So put down Pokemon League headquarters. Well, Arvin for Crushing Hammer. Dude, come on. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, there is a possibility next turn they knock us out. Which is very scary. Yeah, they could knock us out next turn. 
But I have to get rid of this Charizard, I feel like. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to get rid of it. I don't know if I do. I don't know if I don't. I don't know. I just If we hit heads on that Crushing Hammer, we could have got the energy off Charizard. It would have been Game Changer. Because now they just need the three. Oh, they set up Rotom V first. Interesting. Now, we know they play Maxima Belt, so they could take a knockout this turn with this on the Maxima Belt, which is, like, the scary thing right now. Buddy Buddy Puffin for Charmander. We know there's one rare candy left in their deck. Yeah, we knew it was in the hand. There's Iona, and Iona here is okay because it gives us a potential to find. <sighs> there we go. That's what I was talking about. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There's a collapse, so they're gonna get rid of Pidgey most likely or Luminion. I'm not sure, but we should have enough energies left in the deck to take a knockout on this Radiant Zard, and then see what happens. So they're going to go down to one here. Oh, they just went for that instead? Interesting. So I'm going to eerie to see their hand. So they have Turo, Boss Order, and Eerie. Okay. So I'm going to Nastash, and then, and, and then he'll put that here. It's fine. We'll go for this. Counter Ketchup, but we're tied on price cards. This will help us. This will be good to get back the both of these. No, not you. This. No, I think these two are fine. Okay. So now they have Turo at hand, which could pick up the Rotom. Could they have not swung with this last turn? One, two, three, one, two. With the bell? Yeah, they could have, I think, right? Hmm. So there's a Turo, pick up the Rotom. Who do you send up here now, though? I should have put a boss order in deck. I think I only have one. I should have got a boss order. Yeah, maybe I should have got a boss order. Okay. There's Rotom V. Hmm. So there's instant charge. Okay. So we're gonna hold this. We'll go Buddy Buddy Poffin just to play it. Yeah, I should have. Mm, yeah, that was a misplay on my part. Okay, come on, Hammer. 
Come on, Hammer. Oh my goodness. <sighs> hey, I wrote him having energy. What you doing, Zora? I keep making misplays, Zora. I made to put Boss Order back in the deck, not Giovanni's. Super Rod back in some energies. There we go. Yeah. Can you please just like attach your energy and then I can go Alakazam, knock out this out, and then we'll be good to go. There's your treat. Send a Brodom. Okay. Oh, my counter catcher. Oh, that's so good for them. No. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ultra Ball for the Charmeleon. Discards double boss order, actually. Okay. There's Charmeleon. Charmeleon comes down. It's in charge for three. All right, so under our turn. Yeah, I should have put a boss order in there. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so we're going to... I think we're just going to Tricky Steps. Move this to this. And just see what happens. Yeah, if I had the boss order, we could have potentially won already. We could have bossed... Knocked out Radiant Zard or something. Uh, like, next time we could win easily if we had it. But it's okay. It's okay. So there's Ultra Ball. Here comes Charizard. Countercatcher Pidgeot. There's Radiant Zard. Here it comes. Now, how many energies are left in deck? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's two for sure that we know of because they play eight. Do they have another switching effect? If they, if they don't have a switching effect, then we win. Even if they don't have a switching effect, we might still be able to win. Because this doesn't one-shot me right now. Okay. I mean, it still doesn't knock me out. And I can potentially move all the energies off this Charizard. That's fine. Because then I go this. And then this. Smooth the energy to Rotom. All right. The next turn I can win. Because Alakazam's still in the deck. He has not, they have not seen Alakazam at all. And Alakazam's still chilling. So Zephyr GC active. Takes 40 damage. Okay. Ball sort of my B barrel.
I think we still just pass. Hmm. We can go, okay, we can still go this to put that back in the hand. Press done. Goes back in the hands, it takes another 40 damage. Charmander. We could do it again. Press done. There's a super hard to get back energies. Okay. Sure. Oh, put your 20 there or 40 there. Okay. And they're going to pass an archer. We have one card left in the deck. We then put down Radiant Alakazam. Use this. Put two to here. Or just one. You would need the one. We go down to one price card. We squove it for Nestash, and then we just pass. All right, and that should give us the game. Yeah, because no matter what, Gengar can take a knock on anybody. We can we can we can constantly just use Squover over and over again. Yeah. We can use Alakazam to put two to here. End our turn. Yeah. So they attach energy to the active, they get knocked out. Yeah, we should have this game. Been a long game, but we got this, guys. And they'll take another additional 40 damage, and they'll get knocked out to the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. And give me the Gengar. Oh, b -Doof. The Gengar. Oh, the Gengar was... We only played three. Duh, Josh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We did it. We are the better dark deck. Let's go. Woo. All right. That's pretty sick. Oh, man. What a great day. What a great day. We hit RCS, which I think, like I said, it should be a good matchup, but then we just did bad. Shh, we're 10 away, bro. We're 10 away. Uh, but, yeah, there's Gengar. Try it out. Have some fun. Even though we did so bad at the Crush Namers, we were still able to pull it, make up come back. Ooh. Thank you, Devolution. That was brought to you by Devolution. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have some fun playing Gengar out there. Could be a good deck. Could be a surprise deck that nobody could be expecting. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow when we recap EUIC. Alrighty, guys.